110. Vent valve's locked. One minute. Rock report range status. This is the rock range is green. Stable at step three. Twenty five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Release. Lift off the Atlas V rocket and twin spacecraft on a mission to unlock the mysteries of Earth's Van Allen belts. Booster engine continues to perform well. Pump speeds within parameters, injector pressures are stable. Operate nominally. Max Q. Vehicle continues to fly well. Dynamic rates look good. And boosters throttle back. Engine response looks good. PU continues to control nominally. Current altitude is 11.2 nautical miles, downrange distance 8.1 miles, velocity is 2340 miles per hour. Atlas Propulsion LC. Go ahead. Start Atlas Propulsion and Hydraulic Securing. Roger. Range track shows the vehicle making good progress right down the middle of the corridor. And closed loop out Q Alpha steering has been enabled. Vehicle body rates look good. Also uh, have performed some roll bias pointing. Looking for the RCS pyro valve activation momentarily. And we have the pyro valve firing. And that system's now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 31 miles, downrange distance 50 and a half, velocity 5,083 miles per hour. And the Q Alpha steering portion of the booster flight has been completed. Approaching our 5G throttle segment, currently accelerated at 4 Gs. And the booster has now begun to throttle to maintain 5 Gs. Pogo Pyrovent has been fired. Boost phase chill down is underway.
And we've throttled back to 4.6 Gs in preparation for BECO. Boost phase cooldowns complete. And we have BECO. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. Looks like a clean set. We have locks and fuel pre-start. GN2 purge firing on the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the air all 10. Looking for payload for engine jettison momentarily. And we have indication of payload for engine jettison. Looks like a clean sip. And Centaur steering has been enabled and the PU has been commanded to fixed angles for the early portion of this nine minute and 15 second burn. RL-10 chamber pressures, lock pump discharge, and venturi pressures look to be within band for the set mixed ratio. RCS line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature. Current altitude is 106 miles. Downrange distance is 429 miles. Current velocity is 11,794 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle progressing nicely down the middle of the corridor. Quick check of booster performance shows that we are plus 0.36 sigma high on Atlas stage performance. At this point, Centaur PU is operating in closed loop control, however, it continues to request an oxidizer rich condition as it works off the excess oxidizer. Current center altitude is 128 miles, downrange distance is 603 miles, current velocity is 12,175 miles per hour. Range track looks good. Coming up on the format change here momentarily. And we have had the format change, just a minor loss of data at that point. All Centaur systems continue to look very good. Centaur PU is now operating near nominal mixture ratios. Engine response looks good. Chamber pressures are still stable. Pump discharge and fuel venturis look good. Current altitude is 129 nautical miles, downrange distance 875, velocity 12,844 miles per hour. Continue to look good on the range track, right down the middle of the corridor. And Centaur has achieved the head-on gate. Current Centaur tank pressures look good, plus and battery voltages are stable. Helium bottles are within expected levels at this point in the burn. Approximately five minutes left in this first burn. All Centaur systems continue to look excellent. Centaur PU is operating near nominal. Turbinulant pressures or temperatures look uh, as expected for the set mixture ratio. 
Body rates are stable. Current altitude 159 and a half miles, downrange distance 1,270 miles, velocity is 13,000. 989 miles per hour. Centaur RCS line temperatures have warmed to bottle temperature, so we continue to see our warming firings. With three minutes remaining in this burn, the RL-10 continues to perform well. Chamber pressures, pump discharge, inventory pressures are operating as expected for the set mixed ratio. RCS line temperatures continue to look good. Our thermal signatures for the warming firings are good. PU is operating near nominal. Current center altitude is 152 miles, downrange distance is 1,783 miles, speed is 15,640 miles per hour. Range track shows vehicle progressing well right down the middle of the corridor. And our body rates look good, controlling right down the middle. Plus and battery voltages look good. Tank pressures are stable, as well as helium storage puddle. A little under one minute to Miko. I'm going to scratch that. Uh, not quite to one minute to Miko. And we have IAP Vanish. Centaur is now orbital. Continue to control near nominal mixed ratios, and they are all 10. Engine performance continues to look very good. PU has been set at fixed angles in preparation for MECO, and we have MECO. Engine shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling on.
tank pressures are stable. LH2 tank has been vented down as expected. Storage piles are stable as well. Bus and battery voltages look good. Centaur has begun its turn to its PTC attitude and it's begun the roll up to one and a half degrees per second. This coast period is expected to last uh, just short of 56 minutes in duration prior to our MESS-2 burn of uh, approximately 440 seconds in duration. <laughs> 